Buenos Aires amigos, amigas, from Ahihi here at the La Bodega restaurant. I'm with Larry here, and Larry is a musician. Uh, he writes his own material also. I've been listening to Larry, I think I first heard him play about five years ago. And uh, since I started this YouTube channel, I started covering even more music around the Lakeside area, and I always enjoy listening to Larry and the open mic nights that he has started and participates in. So can you go ahead, Larry? Sure. So, hi everybody. Um, so glad you could join us. Uh, I do run um, on my own a couple of uh, open mics here in the Lakeside area, uh, and then I'm uh, I help to run uh, yet another one. Uh, the two that I am most involved in actually involve backup bands, which means that it's almost like a live karaoke. That is, people will come up and sing, even if they haven't brought an instrument of their own or don't play an instrument of their own, aside from their voice. Uh, the open mics are also open to comedy, poetry, storytelling, all kinds of things. It doesn't really matter. The main thing is that you come ready to perform or to support those who perform, to have an open mind and uh, to have a good time. The music that uh, we play depends entirely on who comes up and would like to, to play. They may come up and say, can we do a couple of Johnny Cash tunes? Well, sure. They may bring up a chart and say, can you follow along with this? It's a jazz number from the 1940s. We'll give it a try. Um, and we just have ourselves an awful lot of fun. We usually have a lead guitarist, a rhythm guitarist, that's me, uh, often a keyboardist, almost always a drummer and a bassist, and uh, they perform backup service for whoever wants to come up and perform. People will come up with their own instruments as well. Uh, they may even come up and just do a duet with somebody in the band. They may go totally solo. Any of that is totally fine. We've been doing these kinds of programs since January of 2016, so it's been a long time now, because here we are in October of 2024. So coming up on nine years. Um, one of the open mics, the one at Lake Chapala Society, is more like a traditional open mic. That is, someone comes up and they they bring their own instrument, usually, and, uh, and they'll accompany themselves. Maybe have someone come up and help them out on harmonica or something like this. Uh, and then the, uh, the two larger open mics are ones where we usually have uh, a full band backing wow. people up. We sometimes get crowds of 50, 70, 90, 100 people have been known to attend these open mics, the vast majority of whom are there simply to enjoy the music. It's quite amazing. Okay, Larry, um, thank you so much for all that information. Could you give us the times and the dates that this, uh, these open mics are available here in the Lakeside area? Sure. Uh, the open mic here at La Bodega is on Wednesdays, and it starts at 5 o'clock. Sign up is usually around 4 o'clock. During the high season, even arriving at 4 o'clock can be a little late to get signed up. Uh, in Chapala, on Mondays, we have the same kind of thing, also at 5 o'clock, and again, 4 o'clock is a good time to arrive for sign up. During the high season, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Then the Lake Chapala Society open mic which I run along with its founder, Dan Dover, and with uh, Becky McWiggan. Uh, that one starts at 11 in the morning, and 10 o'clock is a good time to, to show up to sign up. That's the one where people usually show up with their own instruments and will accompany themselves, whether they're doing original music, which uh, is pretty commonly done, or doing cover songs of their, their favorite songs from the past. Okay, um, is there anything else you would like to say uh, before I thank you? Uh, I want to say thank you, all the musicians that come and perform. Uh, you bring a great joy uh, to a lot of us here who come here to the Lakeside area, and uh, we really love it. I well, love I, the music. I view it as a service. That is, there are people here who always wanted to play, never got to. People who used to play, and figured they've moved down to retirement, they're in an environment where they don't necessarily speak the, the dominant language, and, they, and this becomes their outlet. So for many people, this becomes a, a major part of their week. And for the restaurants that we, where, where we, we run these, 
those are often uh, their biggest night of the week. And you often have Mexican residents uh, performing with you too. Yeah, yeah, Mexican nationals, absolutely. One of our, uh, at this venue, our lead guitarist is usually performed by a young Mexican man. At the other venue, he and our drummer are usually young Mexican people. Uh, Mexicans will get up to uh, to perform as well. It doesn't really matter. They could they could be Polish. They could be Japanese. It doesn't matter. Everybody is welcome. Everybody has something to contribute, and everybody will be supported. Okay, uh, I want to say thank you, Larry, uh, and everyone here, and all the performers. Uh, it's brought a lot of joy to all of us. And thanks for your service. Uh, uh, to these uh, to the lakeside area and the music scene so with that uh, we'll close this interview and uh, say thank you again and uh, adios thank you Chris thank you